Dom from Black Toad Studios and this is my 2000 points of Necrons. So we have got three detachments here. We have got a spearhead at the back here with an overlord. These are all uh, Tesla weapons on my uh, uh, barges there. We have got a flying detachment here uh, with three of the Doomsides. And then we have a battalion. So we have got three squads of Immortals. Two squads of 10 and one squad of 8. Uh, of course, all armed with Tesla carbines there. We've got a Cryptek here, who is my warlord. Cryptek with Staff of Light and the relic from the Mephrit um, dynasty. He's also got Enduring Will as his warlord trait. Next to him here, we have got an overlord there with a war scythe. Moving along, we have got five Lich Guard with shields and swords. Five death marks back here and two stalkers there. And that's my 2,000 points. So um, in total there, I believe we have got nine command points. No, 10 command points. Too many command points. <laughs> Apparently too many, but I think 10 is probably the right amount. Just when you get to double digits, 10 is the right number. Right, let's have a look at what Tom is bringing. Hello, it's Tom from Blacktoe Studio, and here is my 2,000 points of Red Scorpions using Raven Guard rules. So, uh, we have a battalion in front of you here, and we're going to be led by uh, Commander Cullib um, in his Terminator form, and also joining him as an HQ is Severin Loth. Um, troops choices, we have three obviously, so we have two scout squads here, all armed on the left here with uh, combat shotguns and also one sniper rifle, Sergeant uh, carrying a uh, sword and a uh, bolt pistol. To the right of them we have another scout squad with a heavy bolter, three bolt guns and a, a sergeant with combat weapons. And then final troop choice is this 10-man intercessor squad here, um, all armed as is. So we have one power sword in there and a couple of the uh, long-range uh, grenade launchers. Then we'll move on into heavy choice. We have a Devastator squad here. Uh, they have an Armour and Cherub and also uh, four LAS cannons in there and then uh, four bolters and obviously the Sergeant there. And then likewise over here, except we're having four LAS cannons. They do have the Cherub as well. And final heavy choice at the back here is a Land Raider Helios. Obviously with the uh, additional missile launch on the top there. And then we have Elites, Elites Galore. So we have uh, a squad of Cataphracti Terminators here. Uh, we've got three Lightning Claws. A three power fists, one um, heavy flamer, and obviously the sergeant here with his power sword. We then move over to this side here, and we have two honor guard, um, hopefully running around with seven, we'll see. We also have a primaris apothecary, and then we have two aggressor squads, uh, one armed with the lesser used flamestorm gauntlets, and one with the auto bolt storm gauntlets at the back there. So that is my 2,000 points. Um, just to give you the warlord trait, he's got the Imperium sword, which I believe gives him one extra attack. So... That's it, we'll now move on into a deployment. So welcome to the deployment area and here we have 2,000 points a side of Necrons and Red Scorpions ready to face off in one of the new chapter approved battles and we are doing the four pillars. So very simply put, there are four objectives on the board. There is one here, one over here. We have another one behind down here and the final one over here. And the way it works is, if at the end of a battle round you hold more of those points than your opponent, you score one victory point. However, if you do hold all four of them at the end of a battle round, you actually score three victory points. Uh, there is also Slay the Warlord, First Strike, and Line Breaker, so a few other extra points up for grabs there. Um, and as you can see here, the Necrons have got themselves a nice little deployment line on this side of the board. And I believe they have some in reserves as well, which I'm just going to pan over here quickly. So we have... I can't remember what these are called, Dom. What are they? Uh, uh, tomb uh, Stalkers. Tomb Stalkers, that's one. Tomb yeah, Stalkers, obviously there. Death Marks, and uh, there's the other one there. And I have in reserves my Terminators with Cullen there, and also Severin and the Honor Guard are riding in the Land Raider at the moment. So hopefully they'll come up and pop at a vital point of the game to uh, win it for me. Um, now, at the moment, the Red Scorpions are going first. So unless Dom does roll a six... Which I, he's already done once to start. No, nope. uh, no, that's not a good sign. So that's a one. That was actually what I rolled uh, to get deployment. So we'll be right back in a minute with turn one for the Red Scorpions. Okay, so as the Red Scorpions advance up here, we've had this intercessor squad to move up into the gap. Hopefully in range of whether they're a few of their guns ready to shoot some of those Necrons down. Obviously, they'll probably be getting back up though. Um, over here, we have the aggressors that have all advanced. 
through this gap here, keeping the apothecary close. Hopefully gonna keep a couple of them alive by the time they actually get to use their flame weapons at the front there. <laughs> uh, scouts have stayed still back here, as have the other scouts up on the building here. So that's movement done. Let's go and see if they can do a bit of shooting. All right, so we're jumping into turn one shooting so far for the Marines. Um, the squad of scouts have fired using uh, Hellfire rounds as well down here, causing a couple of casualties. Um, a few more were taken out, another three were taken out by the intercessors down here firing their bolters at long range. Now Tom is going to fire this cheeky little land raider. Oh, yeah. He's going to fire the las cannons over into the flyer, maybe this one here. And then the missiles are going to come back into this three man squad here just to try and finish them off because he's heard rumours that they keep getting back up. Yeah, so Tom, you find the land raider first yeah, for the we'll las cannons? Yeah, the cannons first. All right, so okay. Fours to hit. Yep. So that's free. Uh oh. Uh, freeze to wound. <laughs> freeze to wound. Come on, ones and twos. Oh, oh yes. I'm going to command point one of these. Okay, so it's command pointing one. Oh, no, it wasn't on. enough. Never so mind. it's a minus three, so we need a six here. Oh, oh, oh the six. <laughs> nice. Oof, it's going to be that game. Uh, and he's going to fire the missiles now. Yeah, How many so shots in the miss? 2d6 shots. Oh, nice. So three, six. six shots. That's still not bad. Not too bad. Uh, needing, obviously, threes to hit here. Yep, that's quite good. Here we go. Shooty, shooty time. Oh, okay. So that's that's enough. And this should be strength seven, if I remember correctly. Strength is, yeah. seven. Nasty. Right, so freeze to wound and here. Minus one AP. Okay, so three wounds. Three minus what? So I need to save all of these on a four up. Can we do it? Oh, no. Oh. The squad have gone. First blood to the scorpions. Right, let's have a look to see what happened in the rest of the shooting phase. Okay, so as turn one shooting comes to an end, we are just going to wrap up the last few points here. So the four missiles here shot over into the flyers. Uh, we actually hit once and didn't do anything because of another six up save, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, uh, because the Lascans didn't have a lot of shooting options just because their visibility was quite low, they just shot into this squad of immortals. They did actually end up managing to kill three there quite uh, quite quickly. I'll have another six up save, saving another Necron. So um, that's pretty much it for the shooting phase. I haven't actually got anything combat related to do. So I think we're going to head on over into Necrons, turn one. Turn one movement for the Necrons. So the Doom Sives here, the squadron have soared forwards. Plenty of potential targets up ahead. Uh, down here, the Immortals are climbing over the uh, terrain here, getting onto that objective, pushing forward. Down here, the Lich Guard are doing the same with the Cryptek and uh, the Overlord there. On this flank here, the Overlord is leading these um, Immortals towards the flaming aggressors over there and down here we have got the three annihilation barges kind of getting a nice line of sight through there there we go so some nice stuff coming up so we're going to move into turn one shooting and hopefully necrons can kill something okay as we start the necrons turn one shooting here we are uh, starting off with a stratagem which is amalgamated targeting data which is basically put a point within 24 inches of three of the doom size and uh anything within three inches of that uh, we're going to roll for um, and I believe on a four up for this unit, at least, um, it's going to be some mortal wounds happening. Come on. Yes. Oh dear. 3d3 mortal wounds. That is going to be painful. So, one, two, three, four, so, five mortal five wounds. Dead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this. Oh, we're going to re-roll the one, okay. There it goes. An extra so, one. Yeah. So six, six, six dead. Six mortal wounds. Fine, I'll take them off in there. a second. And then, obviously, the land raider here. So it's a five up for this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 3D3. Free. I see. So three, four, five, six, seven. So seven wounds. He's down to nine, I believe, I think it's right, because he's yep. got 16 wounds. So that's it. So six dead from here. Yep. And uh, seven wounds off that. So we'll, I'm just going to top that all up. We'll back in a minute. Right. So end of turn one shooting. So as you saw, the uh, death rays there did quite a bit of damage there. Uh, the Tesla shots came off here. Shot at the scouts there. They're also joined by the other one just to finish them off. So we also got first strike on that one there. Uh, this one, however, fired into land radar. I'm just pinging off of that. Uh, the immortals down here fired a volley of shots over into the intercessors here, causing one wound on that squad. Not really much at all, but you know, that's what they do. Down here, however, this squad here fired over into the aggressors, the flaming aggressors at the front. Killed two of them off. Uh, which were then, um, the last one was finished off by these barges here that fired in, killing him as well. So that's two units down there. Now let's uh, move into turn two for the Red Scorpions. 
So as the Red Scorpions commence their turn two, we've just finished the movement phase for them. Uh, over here, the Land Raider has moved up a little bit here, just because obviously he's got uh, Severin in there as well, so he's probably going to get him out next turn, maybe, never know. The Incestors here have uh, moved up to the middle here, because they're trying to get some rapid-fire bolt going on. Um, in the middle here, I decided to advance the aggressors here uh, on the grounds that they weren't in range for a double shot anyway, and I felt like I want to put them in threat range as best as possible. Um, I didn't move the Laz cannons, they have a couple of shots on, so I didn't want to move them. Um, finally, over this side of the board, had a little deep strike back here, found a little corner. So Cullen has come on with his Terminator squad here, hopefully going to upset some barges. We'll see, never know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, for well, from all about point of view as I say. Um, and then we'll now move on into shooting for Scorpions in turn two. Right, so we're here in turn two shooting for the Scorpions. So Tom is going to fire these four missiles into this flyer here. He needs to try and take one out as soon as possible. So he's hitting on fours. So it's oh, one hit. He's going to reroll. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's two hits. It's two hits. All right, freeze to wound. That's two. All right, so it's a minus two AP, so I need two five ups. Here we go. It's time to upset him. Time to upset him. Oh no, no, we've gone through. D6. All right, do not get two sixes. Oh, that's a lot though. Nine, so I'm down to three wounds on that one there. Ouch. Right, let's move on to the rest of turn two shooting. Okay, so at the end of Scorpion's turn two shooting, we had some uh, attempted shooting at the uh, croissant here. Um, we fired all the land raiders, oh, sorry, two land, land raiders, las cannons at it, um, because I split fire the other two off at this one up here, thinking I would kill it. However, even with the combined fire of the rocket launchers, he's down on one wound. Admittedly, he did have to use a reroll to save on a six again. However, that also survived an entire volley of fire from these guns here as well. So not fantastic. Um, uh, however, we'll move over to here. I think we took a few wounds off the barges down here. I think we've got this one's one. on four wounds here. Yeah. And did we take anything off? No, no nothing yeah, off them. Yeah, and that was actually oddly enough from uh, all the combi bolters back here into the rear of them. So that was that was all right. Uh, the last cannons back here did nothing. I did actually use my cherubs on both these squads to try and ease out another wound, but unfortunately didn't get anything. So um, yeah, uh, over here. Uh, the aggressors fired into this squad here, filling out five of them, which is pretty good shooting, to be honest, considering they had to advance as well. But we, we might try an assault in a minute, I think. Um, however, we'll be back in a moment with assault. So as we end turn two fighting for uh, the Red Scorpions here, this squad charged in and somehow managed to only kill two of them. Uh, it got a save on that one, I believe, didn't it, Dom? So it just about saved him. And over to this side, there, Cullen was the only person to make the charge after the uh, Terminator squad that he was with uh, was uh, failed by one inch. So, um, however, he did manage to do a bit of damage. I think he took three off the right-hand barge and didn't, but didn't manage to do any the other one because of quantum shielding. So, <laughs> not, not great, but at least he's, uh, he, he, he did something. So, uh, we'll now roll on into uh, turn two for the Necrons and I've got to get ready to weather the storm again. Turn two movement for Necrons. So these two annihilation barges um, got out of combat with Cullen because Cullen was just going to rip him apart and hold him up for the Terminator's got there. Uh, the other annihilation barge has remained stationary on that objective. A bit vulnerable at the moment, but hopefully we should be okay. Uh, as for the flyers, the flyer convoy is going across the battlefield here, getting away from the anti-air fire that's coming up from the ground. Um, this one, of course, is thanks to uh, Living Metal regain one wound there. Uh, across the centre, though, we uh, got a couple of immortals back here, so there's three there. Uh, we've got the Lord nearby, maybe jumping in to help. Lichguard have moved up as well. So a bit of a, a ballsy move here. The Cryptex moved in front of the main force here. The Warlord has moved in front. Hopefully Lichguard, the plan is get the Lichguard into combat. And with his ability, we'll be able to keep him alive a little bit longer if needed. Because of course, there are still people in this land raider. Bit of a threat. Mortals here moved up as well. Just hanging on to the objective there. Down here, the Stalker. Stalking has come in. Mm. Got the Lamb Raider in sight there. It's going to uh, hopefully take it out or do a bit of damage. Um, the other Stalker and the Death Mark are still in reserve. So still a bit to uh, come on. Now let's have a look what we can do in turn two shooting for Necrons. So as we're in the middle of turn two Necron shooting, we're having the uh, Sentinel. Sentinel array yep. is that shooting into, into the Lamb Raider here. So it's also been played 
a stratagem called Talent for Annihilation, which is obviously basically on sixes generates an extra hit that you have to roll to hit for. Yeah, though. an extra shot. So here we go. Num so uh, heavy d6. So four, so four shots. shots. Okay. Uh, we need four to hit because it's a heavy weapon. Okay, so that's two hits. Two hits. Uh, strength ten. So threes will do. Threes. Yeah. Okay, so that's one. Just the one. Uh, and I'm gonna use a command point to just reroll that. Ooh, no. no. Okay. So I need a six up save. Yep. Because it's minus four AP. Uh, maybe up. I deserve this six up because I haven't had one yet on the save. So like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so uh, that's, is that all there, Sheen? That is there. That's, 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 that's all of it, yeah? Yeah, just, that's just that one. Good, just, just checking. So uh, we'll now head over to the rest of the turn. Right, so the rest of turn two shooting for Necrons. So down here, the Annihilation Barges put some firepower into this Devastator squad because uh, of the Raven Guard uh, stratagem. Uh, stratagem, sorry. Tactics. Tactics. It's minor one to hit. It's getting a little bit annoying. Um, but the sixes obviously explode, which is quite good. Uh, so I killed a few there on that squad. Last cannons are still very much there, though, unfortunately. Um, and across down here, uh, we fired some more shots into these Terminators. Um, from this annihilation barge didn't do anything uh ideally i'd love to have targeted cullen but he's not the closest target these uh, aggressors are down there across the field we had some shots down here as well going into the devastator squad uh and uh, he passed he re-rolled as well and yeah they're all good there unfortunately and um oh voltaic staff on the cryptek came in king of two of the intercessors there which is quite nice and that was pretty much it a few more like tesla shots going off here and there with the flyers but nothing really to account for there uh, we're going to move into assault hopefully this lich guard squad can get themselves into the intercessors and uh, save the cryptek from almost certain death there so let's move in to turn two assault for the necrons turn two assault for the necrons so down here the sentinel did an attempted charge against a land raider uh, a lot of overwatch um but luckily nothing happened although he did fail the charge which is a bit of a shame because a lot that up would have been quite significant for the necrons uh, down here lich guard charged in took one wound to overwatch uh to one and a half intercessors intercessors fought back um but unfortunately weren't able to do anything to the uh, lich guard so they're now locked in combat and uh, last bit of combat down here, the um, Overlord charged in, killing off two of the aggressors. Uh, and the remaining aggressor sergeant there killed off one of the immortals that came back. Uh, but he is, of course, also locked in combat. So it's quite good. We've locked a few units in. Um, let's move in now to turn three for the Red Scorpions. Okay, so as we commence turn three movement, um, here the Terminators have moved up as far as they can. They haven't uh, run because they are trying to try and get an assault probably if they can. Cullen has decided to be very brave and get himself right in the thick of things. Um, over to this side, the scouts have jumped out from cover, uh, doing a bit of surprising to these two <laughs> barges. I'm not sure how that's going to go for them. Uh, we obviously still have the Apothecary over here who came back and also managed to get one of the Devastator squad back up so they got an extra man there which is good. Um, the Land Raider here pulled back slightly just to come away from uh, various threats which are hiding underneath things and the aggressors, sorry the aggressors, the intercessors have all pulled back however just before the Land Raider moved these guys got out here and Severin has gone and said oi you let's have a let's have a fight. We'll see how that goes for him I don't think it'll be too bad but I'm more worried about the people behind him. Uh, obviously there's uh, another Lord there, but also these guys here have to deal with them as well. So, that is movement, let's head on into shooting and let's see what happens. Okay, so turn three, psychic and shooting. Severin has put Mighty Heroes on himself and a Veil of Time onto the two Honor Guard there. Um, into the shooting phase, we still have a little bit to go, but I'm just going to go through everything we've done. Um, uh, the Laz Cannons here, uh, oh, shot up into here, and I think we didn't do anything in the no, end. No, no, it was a shame. Pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty bad. However, on a side note, combat shotguns, great, because they managed to take this barge down to one point here. However, I did split fire the sniper rifle up at the central uh, flying flyer here and managed to miss. I kind of wish I'd shot it over here. Uh, the Terminators here all shot into here as well. Unfortunately, didn't do any damage either. Uh, Cullen's obviously in combat. Uh, oh, that's no, not in combat, but he's, uh, he missed with his shooting anyway. And then moving over here, um, we had... Well, not much shooting here to be honest anyway, so it was just the missiles here which had a very good round of shooting against the uh, Sentinel. Sentinel here and managed to take it out with one round, uh, causing 10 wounds, so pretty good. However, we now have the Land Raider here, 
which we're just about to shoot. So I'm just going to get all the uh, sh shots lined up and we'll come back in a second. OK, so for the last part of my shooting phase, this Land Raider Helios here is going to shoot four LAS cannons at the Lich Guard, and I believe that has triggered a... Yeah, so I'm going to play a Dispersion Field Amplification, okay. which pretty much increases their invulnerable saving to yeah. free up, and any sixes bounce back, Ooh, cause nice. a mortal wound. And then finally, and then basically after that, the Helios launch is going to shoot at the wounded uh, flyer in the middle here to try and finish it off, but we'll see how that goes. So we'll start with the LAS cannons. So here's my four dice. We're going to come over here and roll them. So we're going to need uh, threes to hit. So all but one. Threes to wound. So, and threes to wound. And then we're going to hope for some very bad saves. Two. Two. Two, three up and vulnerable. Oh, there's some sixes. No, uh, no, no sixes. So one got through. And uh, does. One's on one wound, so one's dead. And that's three damage. Yep, so this one is kaput. One is dead. And then we've got, so now we'll do the Helios launcher. So I'll just roll the number of shots here. So we're getting six shots. This better be the end of the flyer because this thing's getting quite frustrating to kill. <laughs> Minus one to hit, so we're hitting on fours. Okay, that's actually not too bad. This is, so we're winning on threes because uh, we have strength seven. So that's uh -oh. three and minus one. Uh-oh, so three, four ups. Don't die. Oh, oh, oh no. you're going to come on and point it again. How many wounds? One damage? It's one damage, yeah. Uh, I've got two wounds. Oh, you've got so two wounds left. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So the flyer lives to fight another day. So we'll be back in a moment uh, with the combat phase. Okay, so at the end of the combat phase in turn three, over here, seven of the honor guard charges the lich guard and managed to kill one and a half. Um, However, they managed to kill one back as well. So uh, that was mainly through one of them laying his life down for Severin, uh, running in front of the blade, basically. Uh, no brotherly love. Um, and over here, Cullen got in and gave him a pretty good hitting, but unfortunately his wounding wasn't fantastic and he's only on, um, uh, was it five? Five, five, five left. Yeah. And down here, the final aggressor was completely chopped apart by the uh, Lord. And also, after an assault over here, two died to Overwatch, uh, trying to get hold of this barge at the back here, unfortunately not getting in range. So, not, a mo not the most successful charge phase. However, I can't really complain because my shooting wasn't too bad. So, we'll now head on into Necrons, turn three. Turn three movement for the Necrons. It's down here, the Annihilation barges remain stationary. They don't need to move anywhere. These scouts aren't really that much of a threat at the moment. <laughs> Death marks are now on the board. They're now on the field. They're going to target this uh, last cannon team down there. They need to try and deal with them because they're a big threat for our flying wing, which has moved over here. It's kind of flying down off the landing pad. It's going to be targeting this land raider. We need to get it. Uh, and we've only got a couple of command points left to do it. Down here, the Lich Guard have regained a couple of members. So they're back up to full strength. And the... Well, uh, the uh, Overlord is now moved along here, but my will will be done on them to increase their strength. That's uh, not really going to help them too much. Um, down here, Cryptek remains there, watching over them. Immortals are uh, remaining on the point there. This Annihilation Barge, which was getting beaten up by Cullen, has moved out of combat because down here, the Overlord, after hacking apart those aggressors, has now moved on to Cullen. It's going to be a duel to the death. The Immortals are now sitting on that objective, going to be putting some fire into the Terminators back here. And another Sentinel has arrived and he is targeting these guys here. We've got to try and deal with these Terminators in the corner. Right, so that is our turn three movement. Let's move into shooting. So as we commence the shooting phase in turn three for the Necrons here, these death marks decided to attack the Devastators here. So. 10 shots. 10 shots. Rapid fire. Um, because of the Mephrits, minus one AP as well. So freeze to hit. Pretty mm. good going. Pretty good going. These sixes would have been better for wounding. <laughs> uh, no, so no, I disagree. <laughs> strength four. So four to wound. Six is a mortal wound. Yeah. And everything is like uh, minus one AP as this well. It's be quite painful. Okay. So, so two dead. Two and uh, two mortal wounds as well as armor so saves. Take them away now. And then five armor saves, minus one AP. Okay, so we're looking for four ups. On five, so his five saves coming up. So, no, actually, is it just uh, two more dead? Two more dead. So we're only going to lose that, and I think we're going to take the uh, sergeant off. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have four left, but obviously we have lost four. So we're back in a minute with the rest of the shooting phase. Turn three shooting for the Necrons. So starting down here, the Sentinel fired off its XL cannon, 
Uh, did nothing at all. It's also joined by the Immortals down there. We've inflicted one wound so far on these Terminators, so they're pretty much full strength still. Uh, I know that for uh, the benefit of the Necrons, they're quite slow, so we should be okay. Down over here, the two Annihilation Barges fired everything they had over to the Devastator Squad, reducing this squad down to two. So it's going to be a quite hefty leadership for them. Uh, I think they lost six casualties so far on that squad. They'll be fine, apparently, according to Tom. <laughs> we will see, though. Um, but this one here, this Annihilation Barge, fired off down towards the Devastator Squad, taking out another missile out there. The Raven Guard um, chapter tactic here is kind of really coming into its own and uh, reducing our effectiveness. Really dead a long time ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a lot of um, uh, lucky uh, saves and misses for them. So the uh, Doom Sives, once again, use the stratagem down here. I feel bad. But, you know, uh, but we took out four of the intercessors in this squad here and uh, taken six wounds off the land raiders. That's now down to three wounds. It's quite, quite nasty there. And that was it for shooting. So a lot of casualties, a lot of damage. We're going to move in now to assault and hopefully we can do a bit more um, down here. Of course, the overlord will be charging into Cullen. Let's see if Cullen is really a chapter master. So, yeah, the overlord charged into Cullen there. Uh, can't do, do anything on Overwatch, so we're going to do this little duel here before we carry on with anything else because nothing over here is going to affect the rest of the battle here. So we're going to roll for the Overlord, he's hitting on twos, so all wounded there. Uh, he's strength seven, so he's wounding on threes. Ugh, yeah, and uh, minus four, so you're in vulnerable save, please. Good like that. Oh no. Now Cullen's going to, he got four attacks on me, but five because I'm going to Imperium Sword. Yep. Hitting on twos, re-rolling. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. That's um, what regret this. Uh, strength, uh, sorry, uh, strength plus, uh, let me just double check, sorry. Um, okay, let's find out what the strength is. Right, I've got it right here, it is uh, strength, uh, strength plus one, so strength five. Okay, so fours to wound, strength five, toughness five, fours to wound. Okay, oh jeez. Oh, minus no. three. Minus three, so it's got four up, so phase, uh, phase shifter. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We use a command point reroll. <laughs> Oh, okay, so two have gone through. D3 damage each. It's got five wounds. Please double, double don't six. roll double. Okay, we're okay. No. Three wounds. Okay, so it's down to two wounds there. That could have been very nasty. Uh, in fact, it was pretty nasty. Uh, we're going to move on to the rest of the assault and have a bit of a recap on it. Right, so end of turn three assault for the Necrons. So down here, the Lich Guard butchered the last Honor Guard there and did a bit of damage there on to... Uh, Severin. Um, of course, Severin did knock out one of the Lich Guard there, so there's four remaining in combat with him. Uh, Tom was very fortunate and passed all his morale checks for all his men, unfortunately, even the Devastated Squad at the back there with the last cannons. I might have said I had to reroll every single one there. Yeah, there was a reroll for every <laughs> leadership there um, from uh, Literal No No Fear. And of course, we know what happened down here. There was a attempted charge here with the Sentinel into the Terminators. Uh, he did lose one wound, so he's down to eight wounds on that Sentinel there. And that is it. We're going to move in now to turn four for the Red Scorpions. So as we end the movement phase for the Scorpions in turn four, over here, this scout has decided to uh, bravely walk towards the death marks, thinking he might be able to tie them up maybe. Um, we did try to get one of the Devastators back, but that failed. However, the Apothecary has moved just closer onto the objectives to keep him nice and close there. Over here, the Land Raider has turned, even though it really can't move very far, and it's got Blister's got a five at the moment, so hitting these uh, flying things is going to be quite difficult for him now. Um, however, he is backed up by some missile launchers, which have stayed still over here. Um, the remaining intercessors have made a move towards the Immortals here because they kind of want to get towards the objective. I don't know how well that's going to go for them. Um, they're, they're confident that uh, Severin will... <laughs> Keep, keep them busy for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, over here, Carlin's obviously still in combat. However, moving in over here, trying to get rid of this uh, central back over here because we don't really want that wandering around there shooting at us. So we'll see how the Terminators do there. I'm hoping they'll do a bit better than they have been uh, recently. So that is all the movement. We'll now head on into the psychic and shooting phases. Okay, so as turn four <laughs> shooting and psychic for Scorpion Size, and we're in a bit of fit of laughing and anger at the same time because. <laughs> Just, I have fired uh, two LAS cannons over here uh, and three missile launchers at this remaining guy here. Every, and the Land Raider, and the, Land Raider, every, and, the and the bolt gun, sorry, yeah, and didn't do a single wound. <laughs> so in a minute, he'll be on three wounds, which is the most he's been on all match, actually, so uh, pretty good for him. 
Um, other than that, uh, sheeting wise, uh, we had uh, the Terminator here going to the uh, crawler over here, and I don't think we did anything in the end. So. Uh, no. Uh, however, Severin did smite and kill, well, do three mortal wounds, and then he, in anger, fired his bolt pistol at the nearest Lich Guard and took his head off as well. So he's actually done pretty good in the psychic and shooting. Uh, at least someone did. Um, we'll now move on into uh, the sh fighting phase and see what happens. Okay, so obviously, uh, having Cullen uh, won this fight this round, um, he managed to kill the Lord there and move towards the objective. Um, and over here at the back, uh, there was a bit of a fisty cuff fight back here with the Terminators. They took the uh, Sentinel down to a three. Uh, he did fight back. However, I managed to pass um, my uh, six up saves from Cullen's uh, special rule of uh, um, basically purity. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. Um, and then over here, um, Severin had a pretty bad round of fighting. Um, uh, he did manage to kill one of the Lich Guard with the help of the Incestors there. However, he did take two wounds for his uh, Troubles. So that is the end of turn four for Scorpions. Now end of turn four for Necrons. Uh, we are in playing till turn five, just so everyone is aware. So uh, just bear that in mind as we're playing through and see you in a second. Turn four movement for Necrons. And uh, Annihilation Barge is over here, relocating. Especially this one here. I need to try and get rid of this Cullen guy. Um, he's after killing one Overlord. Also, the other Lord, overlords coming in to assist and claim the glory. Uh, and one more immortal has been resurrected over there. Also, one more lich guard has come back over there. Uh, I'm not sure that's enough, but we'll see what we can do. Um, the flyers flown off in this direction now. Unfortunately, we have no more um, command points. We've used them all up. So we're going to have to fire the weapons old school style and uh, hopefully be able to take out this alarm raider here. Uh, across the battlefield, the only other thing really to report is that the death marks are on the move. They are moving slowly towards this objective here, hoping to clear out uh, what remains. Well, we'll find out if they're able to do that. So that is it for movement. Let's move in to turn four shooting for Necrons. Turn four shooting for Necrons. So over here, at long last, the Lamb Raider has been destroyed. Um, this um, Doom Scythe tried to do uh, a bit of damage, unfortunately wasn't able to do it. So it's down to this one here, hitting on fives because of the Raven Guard um, chapter tactic and of course being heavy weapons. But the uh, Death Ray came in and uh, taken it out. It then exploded, killing off the missile team there. Tom has not had much mm -hmm. luck tonight. Um, I feel kind of bad. Not that bad, we don't, don't tell him. Uh, and then moving across, we had this also fired towards the land raider, did nothing there. Carlin has taken a couple of wounds, taken two wounds here from the uh, Immortals and the Annihilation Barge. That's on five wounds. It's no way I can deal with that. That's brutal. And down here, Death Marks stalking towards their prey, killed off the two Devastator Squad uh, members there. And this Annihilation Barge up here fired taking five wounds off the Apothecary and killing him there. So that objective is now clear. Two objectives have been cleared from Red Scorpions. There's still Red Scorpions in combat and a big threat. So let's move in to turn four, Assault for Necrons. Turn four, Assault for Necrons. And it's not been a good phase, unfortunately. So over here, um, Severin killed off the two remaining Lich Guard there. So the squad has completely fallen. And now they face off against my Warlord, the Cryptek there. Um, not great. Down here as well, the Sentinel has also died. Uh, it took out one Terminator before he fell, but yet the Terminators hammered him to death with their power fists there. He got a very thorough fisting. And that is it for turn four combat. Tom sniggering. Um, for Necrons, let's move on to turn five for the Red Scorpions. Okay, so as we commence turn five for the Red Scorpions over here, uh, Severin has moved back this way, um, mainly for a little bit of vendetta against this flyer. Um, I thought I might try and smite it, uh, but also trying to get back into this objective down here because obviously Dom scored an additional point at the end of that one because um, he was holding more points than me at the end of the battle round. Um, over here, um, Cullen has gone towards the barge over here while his Terminator brethren have made a move towards that objective there to try and finish off those last immortals. Um, and that's pretty much it. I haven't really got a lot left on the board now, so it does depend on a bit of luck to see how we do at the end of this turn. Okay, so as you notice here, there's no longer a Doom Scythe on top of this uh, thing here. I say that in that manner because I'm fed up with it. <laughs> uh, Cullen decided to smite it, 
Uh, which actually didn't kill it because, of course, it, it did survive that. <laughs> so I then had to fire all of the <laughs> all of the bolters up at it, which finally killed it. Uh, just mind you, oh dear, what a nightmare that thing has been. It's just absolute thorn on my side all game. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here, um, we had a bit of a, a bit of a shooting fest. Uh, all these Terminators shot into the Immortals and killed all but one of them. And then uh, Cullen fired his Judgment Bolter into Storm Bolter into the uh, barge here, knocking it down to one wound. So hopefully we'll be able to finish that off in a minute. So not too bad. Um, however, it's going to be quite a painful last turn for me, I have a suspicion. Um, but we'll see how we get on. And we'll now head on into the uh, fight phase. Okay, so at the start of, sorry, the end of the uh, fight phase in turn five for the Scorpions here, Severin did attempt to charge uh, at the Cryptech, is it Cryptech, isn't it? Yep. Uh, however, failed miserably, so didn't bother chasing that up there. Um, and finally over here, terminated the job, took out that last immortal, and also Cullen bashed apart, oh, I can't even see where he is, bashed apart the uh, barge that was here pretty nicely. Um, didn't really have much of a challenge, to be honest. But, what? Um, however, uh, we'll now head on to the last turn for the Necrons and see how it ends up. So as the Necrons uh, end a turn five movement, over here, the death marks have moved onto this ejector rather wisely. Over here, uh, this barge has moved towards the Terminators, and obviously this barge over here has also turned to look at the Terminators. Um, and then swooping around the edge over here are the two remaining Doomsday, uh, not Doomsday, oh, sorry, um, Doom Scythes, I should say, uh, just coming up this side of the board, so obviously put some more firepower into this location. Obviously also the Lord, uh, having seen a couple of his brethren chopped down, he's just wondering if he wants to get involved. He does. Um, I mean, headless corpses are one of Cullen's specialties, so um, <laughs> we'll see how we get on in a minute, but uh, let's roll on to uh, the shooting phase. Okay, so at the end of the shooting phase for the Necrons there, they managed to wipe out the remaining intercessors down here from multiple shot locations all around here. Uh, they also managed to take out about two more Terminators there, so that's pretty good. Um, however, uh, we decided to call the game there, because uh, two reasons, it was a bit late, but also um, I can't do anything to reverse what's happening right now. So basically, because these death marks are on here, they, all, uh, they cause a swing to them holding more points, so Dom's getting another point for that now. He already got one point last turn. He also has Line Breaker and First Strike, so that gives him four, and I have First Strike, and I'm going to be the one. So, uh, that was a good game though. Um, and we'll be back in a minute with a little wrap up. Okay, so the game has ended and it was a good good fight. Um, it's gonna, and obviously quite an enjoyable game. I quite enjoy the Four Pillars um, battle actually. I think it gives a, quite a nice spread out battlefield. And uh, I think the scoring is quite interesting once you get down to it, because obviously the score didn't tick up through the whole game there. I think it was quite a slow build. Um, so Dom, any... Uh, Man of the matches for you. Yeah, my uh, my doom scythe. Is it any specific doom oh, scythe? Unfortunately, the one that is no longer here. Oh, I see. Any, yeah. any particular reason for that? It's because it didn't... Took you, took you uh, five turns. Five turns. <laughs> so, yes. I've got a lot of firepower going into it. So, I... yeah, it saved everything else from getting shot. Yes. Uh, next time, I will literally fire everything at something until it dies. Uh, I will not split fire ever again, even if it's on one wound. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself? Yeah. Uh, myself, I'm going to go with Cullen down here, because I think he was uh, pretty beastly in combat, um, but also he just, he just wouldn't die. He had a lot of six-up saves on his um, Feel No Pains, or his, you know, his purity thing that he gets. Um, and also, just really good, I think he's quite a good character. I actually, I must admit, I've come around to liking this version of him um, over the other versions that he's got out, I think, personally. So I think I would pick him over the, um, the Dreadnought version, I think, for a, for a, even maybe for a competitive game, possibly, I think, because he's a good model. So. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching, as usual. Uh, this is uh, Tom and Dom from Black Toad Studios, and we will definitely be seeing and uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye.